So the initial inspiration was you took one of these toys and we said, what can we use this for? Well, they make them for, as baby toys because they're really safe, it's hard to break them, hard to hurt yourself with it, hard for a baby to hurt themselves with it. And you can throw it on the ground really hard, you're not gonna break it. And we're like, hey, that's a landing robot. Um, <laughs> we are using tensegrity structures, which are these tensile networks that are very uh, shock absorbent and compliant. And uh, we're using those to build robots or planetary landers that can land on another planet, absorb that impact shock, and then that very same structure is your robot that enables mobility on the planetary surface. So why as engineers would we care about these types of structures? As you interact with the environment and you have different forms of interactions, I want to pick something up, I want to walk across different terrains, the stiffness of your structure ends up having a very direct impact on your efficiency, your effectiveness, how you respond to things. And so being able to tune that stiffness and either make it stiffer or floppier is, is, is one of the sort of holy grails of modern robotics. And these types of structures enable that by uh, changing the overall tension of the structure. You can turn it from being very stiff to being very floppy. This is one of the first uh, mobile prototypes that we built and uh, it was really designed to, for motion and you can just sort of see how robust it is. We can eventually suspend a reasonable mission relevant payload in the middle. The real challenge here is we've broken all the rules of traditional robotics designs. You, a lot of those design approaches just don't work with this robot. How do you sense its shape? How do you sense its forces? How do you actually actually control it? How, you just, how do you have power and, and, and uh, information communicated through this whole structure? And so just that sort of basic engineering uh, principles is a big part of what uh, the research we've had to do is. Tensegrity Robots is a, is a fascinating new direction uh, for robotics in general. There's really interesting properties here to unlock, but it's a hard problem.